Hello everyone, this is Douglas E. Welch and this is another container garden update. And uh, last week we had potatoes coming up and guess what we got coming up now? We've got fruit! Uh, these are some of the strawberries in the, uh, I guess, container number one here. Uh, it flowered and I had some pictures of that on the blog the other day. And sure enough, it's starting to set fruit. I see these, oh, five or six here. I see another probably dozen uh, elsewhere on the plant and on the other plants. So yum, yum, yum. If we can uh, keep squirrels from eating them, we'll have a little bit for our cereal bowls in the morning. As far as the other containers go, it's kind of more of the same. Uh, here you can see uh, the kale seedlings coming up here. And if I hopefully move over here a little bit, you can see the spinach and more kale there on the left. So more of the same old, same old. We're just waiting for these seedlings to uh, start to grow up. I did notice over here, I see some true leaves forming on that one right there. So they're certainly taking off and hopefully we'll have some kale for our soup pot next. And here we have the lettuce pot and uh, it just kind of continues on a pace. No big changes here. Uh, I had expected this kind of leap up a little bit more quickly. Lettuce tends to grow pretty quickly, but it has been cooler here. So perhaps that's slowing it down a bit. As long as it keeps growing though, I really don't care. I just want to have some food uh, on our plates. And finally here in pot number five, the uh, peppermint is starting to come back. Um, I wasn't sure about it there for a while, but I see lots of new growth coming up from the bottom. Not sure what would happen there. Um, again, sometimes in our garden, we just don't know what's going on. We just have to take it as it comes. And uh, so we'll just take this as it comes. And hopefully in the background here, we're starting to see some more basil seedlings as well. And we'll get a new crop of basil coming in. My wife loves that so much. She loves her pesto and basil and everything. So it's imperative on my part to get a big hunk of basil growing here. I've been meaning to talk about alternative containers for a while, and the fact is, as manufacturers have uh, started making their packaging more recyclable, they've also tended to make it more sturdy. And I've found a couple of great containers um, that could easily be used in your garden. They can be dressed up or not. This could actually be painted or anything you wanted to do to it. A few drain holes in the bottom of it, and that would make for a very sturdy pot. It's probably more sturdy than the one gallon or half gallon container you might get from your local nursery. Uh, here's another example here. It's got a little bit more uh, labeling on it. I'm sure actually if you took some sandpaper you could actually probably sandpaper that printing off of there. But again, very, very sturdy. Uh, it is recyclable, so of course it can go out in recycling, but I think might as well get a few uses out of it in your garden as well. Uh, we also have some smaller containers like this nice to go container actually and this one even has a little lid for it you could basically start some seedlings or some microgreens in that i know with me this would help to keep the squirrels out and uh, that would help a lot actually because they tend to dig up the small seedlings when we're working on them uh, here's another small uh, this is a rice pudding container here. Again, very sturdy, uh, surprisingly so. I'm used to, uh, you know, disposable containers being kind of flimsy, but in these cases, they're getting pretty darn sturdy. And finally, over here, this one, I swear, uh, your local food manufacturer has been taking lessons from the seedling industry or something. Okay, is this not a perfect little seed starting flat like you would find at any... Uh, garden supply store i think it is and even more so it even has the clear lid that snaps on top to keep seedlings or in my case what i might use this for is I, i'm going to try and do some cuttings this is a little shallow for cuttings but it might still work uh, but having the lid the clear lid on there is great it keeps the moisture in yet still allows some sun to get in i think there's a product uh, design people who are basically designing products for all sorts of uses whether it's food gardening or anything else so that's it for this container garden update. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about my containers or what's going on in your own containers or maybe what you're thinking of planting this year, please post them in the comments, leave them on YouTube, whatever. You can also find me on Twitter, Google+, Facebook, and more. For information on all of these and the website, you can click over to douglasewelch.com. If you want to go directly to A Gardener's Notebook, it's douglasewelch.com slash AGN for A Gardener's Notebook. It's been a pleasure. Until next time, keep digging.